When a loved one passes away, Jewish law calls upon the immediate family to experience the rite of Shiva. Approximately seven days are spent in mourning and receiving comfort from visitors. A doctor, a rabbi, and an acclaimed lecturer offer personal reflections on the rite of Shiva. When someone dies, the relationship with the deceased doesn't end. The relationship with the person who died continues. It just changes from a face-to-face -face interpersonal relationship to a relationship of memories to a relationship of legacies. By engaging the mourners in this process, you're helping them make that shift. The purpose of Shiva is meant for the mourner to be able to take that time aside from the affairs of life and affairs of the world, to contemplate, to introspect, and to share with others the life they had, with the person they loved. People come to visit and console and try to bring comfort to the mourner. The structure of it and the formality of it, it gives a sense of relief. You know, when, when you're grieving, it's very all over the place, very hard to contain. And the structure of the Shiva brings a relief and a sense of conformity, which is quite redeeming. If you want to comfort help, or help comfort the griever, what you're in essence doing by taking an interest in the person who has died is helping that person preserve his life. I remember hearing people say things to me that was almost like they said it and the words stopped right here. But days and weeks and months later, they slowly made their way in. The point of the Shiva is not to come up with anything brilliantly comforting to say, because there really isn't anything to say. Rather, it's just simply to be there. One person who lost a toddler under very, very tragic circumstances told me what was the most comforting visit all week. And I'll say it the way he said it. He said an older gentleman with a lot of life experience came in, he said he sat in front of him and he asked to see a picture of his daughter he gave him the picture, he looked at the picture, he cried for 10 minutes straight, he gave the picture back, he said the traditional verse that you say as you leave, and that was it, and he said that was, without a doubt, the most comforting visit. But in retrospect, I have to say that that week of the passage between one reality and the next reality, somehow, I have to believe in his infinite wisdom, God saw to it that this passage not be, not be taken alone, even while feeling lonely. Take on a mitzvah. Do something, and it can be tiny, but I'm going to do it in memory of this person, and especially if it fits with that person. That's comforting. Now the world's a slightly better place uh, because of that person.